Jennifer, you have a great figure. Thank you very much. You have a very nice body yourself. How often do you work out?、Mm, I work out four to five days a week. I also work out four to five days a week. I like to run. How about you? I hate running. I like to lift weights and do other strength exercises. Okay. Did you enjoy that? Did you hear the key expressions well? Good. <laughs> so now we will look at the diary of Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer wrote a diary later on that day about what she did for working out. 네, 그리고 제니퍼 씨는 방금 전에 대화에서 달리기는 별로 안 좋아하고 이런 근력 운동을 좋아한다고 했는데요. 어떤 운동을 오늘 했는지 일기에 썼습니다. 일기 내용을 함께 보시죠. Today I worked out for two hours. I did leg and abdominal exercises. I stuck with my diet and ate only chicken breasts and rice with vegetables. I also drank a protein shake after dinner. Another successful day completed. Wow. 운동만으로 봤을 때는 굉장히 보람찬 하루가 된것 같아요. It was a very rewarding day, I guess. It was a really good day. So that's why she wrote it down in her journal. Another successful day completed라고 마무리를 했는데요. 자, 이 중에서 두 문장만 골라서 자세히 보겠습니다. 첫 번째는 어떤 문장 볼까요? Okay, so the first sentence that we'll look at is I did leg and abdominal exercises. I did leg and abdominal exercises. 먼저 다리 운동이라고 하면 leg exercises. Mm-hmm. 그래서 오늘 다리 운동을 했다. 그리고 두 번째 나오는 것은 바로 발음이 어떻게 되죠? What is the pronunciation? Abdominal. Abdominal이라고 합니다. 그래서 abdominal exercises, 복근 운동을 했다라는 말인데요. Mm-hmm. Abdominal exercises 또는 뭐 abdomen이라고 하면 너무 발음이 복잡하잖아요. All right. So abdomen. This is your abdomen. Mm-hmm. Abdomen. Abdominal. Mm-hmm. Okay, one more time. Abdomen. Abdominal. 강세가 옮겨지게 되죠. 그래서 abdomen인데 그것이 복부인데 abdominal이라고 하면은 복부의라는 말입니다. 그런데 둘다 복잡하기 때문에 그냥 앞에 a, b만 쓰는 거죠. That's right. You could just say abs. 네. 그래서 근데 복근이라고 하면 근육이 사실 하나만 한 줄만 있는 것이 아니고 여러 개가 있기 때문에 abs라고 s를 mm-hmm. 붙여서 abs 하면 a, b, s로 쓰고 복근이라는 뜻이 되겠습니다. Mm-hmm. 그래서 여기에서는 instead of abdominal exercises, she could actually shorten it to I did leg and ab exercises. Mm, I 네. did leg and ab exercises works just well. 네, 그래서 실제로 글을 쓰실 때도 a, b라고만 쓰셔도 right. 모두가 이해할 수 있는 그런 자연스러운 right. 영어가 됩니다. Mm-hmm. And then the next sentence we're looking at is. Okay, the next sentence that we'll look at is. I stuck with my diet and ate only chicken breast and rice with vegetables. I stuck with my diet and ate only chicken breast and rice with vegetables. 식단을 잘 지켜서 잘 준수해서 닭가슴살과 밥 그리고 채소만 먹었다라는 그런 이야기를 했는데요. 여기 뒷부분은 쉽습니다. 뭐 치킨, 브레스트, 닭가슴살 그리고 뭐 라이스 with vegetables라고 하면 mm-hmm. 밥을 채소와 함께 먹은 거죠. 나물 mm-hmm. 같은. 그런데 처음에 나오는 두 가지 stick with 그리고 다이어트가 재밌는데요. Mm-hmm. Stick 하면 원래 붙는 거죠. Stick. That's right. Sticker. Stick something <웃음> like my hair. <웃음> <웃음> 네, 그래서 붙인다라고 할때 right. stick. 이라고 하는데 그렇기 때문에 사실 원래 스틱은 막대기이기도 하잖아요. That's right. So it could just be a stick. 네, 그래서 막대기란 뜻도 있고 이렇게 막대기 또는 <웃음> 붙인다는 뜻도 있어서 여러분이 뒤에 er 붙여서 쓰는 것이 바로 sticker. Sticker 네. because you stick it on something. 네, 그래서 그 뒤에 stick 뒤에 y를 붙이시면 sticky라는 말이 돼요. Sticky. It 네. just means that something is sticky. 네. 끈적끈적하고 mm-hmm. 붙는 건데. You can also talk about a sticky situation. Oh, that's right. A sticky situation is a situation that's a bit complicated. Mm-hmm. It's not really a good situation. And you can't easily get out of it. Right, because it's you're stuck. <웃음> 네, <웃음> sticky. 끈적끈적한 거기 때문에 굉장히 불편하고 그런데 빠져 나올래야 빠져 나올 수도 없는 복잡한 상황에 처하게 됐을 때 그것을 sticky situation이라고 하기도 합니다. Mm-hmm. 그런데 여기에서는 stick with라는 말을 과거로 썼죠. Right. So in the past, you have to say stuck. With. Mm-hmm. 그런데 stick with라고 하면 이제 그것을 버리지 않고 right. you, you abide by it. it. So the diet is here. It's <웃음> on your arm. You didn't forget it. You abided by it. You went with it. You followed it. You stuck with it. 
네, 그렇습니다. 그래서 <웃음> 지키고 준수하는 것을 stick with라고 하고 과거로 stuck이라고 썼고요. <웃음> 여기에서 두 번째로 나오는 것이 바로 다이어트인데 다이어트는 뭐 우리말로 말하자면 다이어트 한다 그러면 무조건 살을 빼는 것을 말하죠. 그렇지만 영어의 원래 다이어트는 그냥 어떤 음식을 먹을지 식단을 말합니다. Right. So, 네. like he said, diet doesn't have to be only for losing weight. You can have a special diet for building uh, gaining weight if you 네. want to as well. 살을 찌기 위해서 먹는 것도 다이어트라고 할수 <웃음> 있습니다. 영어에서는 그렇지만 뭐 일반적으로 그냥 I am dieting 하면은 뭐 대충 right. 살을 뺀다는 걸알수 있지만 반대의 뜻도 충분히 가질 수 있습니다. Mm-hmm. 자 이렇게 문장을 살펴보았고요. 일기까지 보았습니다. 이번에는 앞에 인사를 했었던 리카 씨를 다시 한번 불러서 영상을 다시 감상해봐야죠. Yes, that's right. We have to watch the video again. This time there are no subtitles. So as I always say, open your ears and listen carefully. Let's watch. I love sports and generally I go for sports that carry some risk. So something like jumping the trampoline or snowboarding or climbing or even some skateboarding. But recently I've discovered a sport that I'm really falling in love with, which is yoga. I love how it makes me feel and I also like the lifestyle that goes along with it. So I will do it once a week at university and I try to do it as often as I can at home too. Part of doing yoga to me is doing handstands, and I absolutely love handstands. I will do them everywhere, outside, inside, anywhere that I'm allowed. And right now, I'm about to go on a run. Wow, so she likes running. I don't think I'll ever like running you. 저도 동감입니다. I don't know if I'll ever actually fall in love with running. Yeah. 네. Anyway, one... <laughs> word that Rika uses right. that is actually easy but important to know or important for us to talk about is part. part. 네, 오늘의 키워드인데요. part를 여기서 굳이 고른 이유는 사실은 부분이라는 말이잖아요. Mm-hmm. 부분, 쉽죠. 그렇지만 동사로도 쓸수 있습니다. Oh, really? You can part things. Right, you can part ways with someone. Mm-hmm. Part ways with someone이라고 하면 갈라서는 것을 말하죠. Right. 네. So if there's one way, You part it. 네. You go this way, they go that way. 네. Part the ways. <웃음> 네, 그래서 실제로 그냥 집에 갈때 길이 다르기 때문에 따로따로 따로 안녕 하고 가는 경우도 part ways with 누구 누구라고 할 수도 mm-hmm. 있겠고요. 예를 들어 part ways with Megan 할수 있겠고, right. 뭐 사이가 안 좋아졌어요, 싸웠어요. 그래서 we parted ways 이렇게 말하면 yeah. 우리는 갈라섰다라고 말할 때도 쓸수 있습니다. 그래서 right. 이 part라는 것은 전체가 있는데 쪼개진 부분들이 되기 때문에 mm-hmm. 이 뭔가를 쪼개서 이렇게 부분으로 right. 만들었기 때문에 So same thing with your mm-hmm. hair like this is a part you can part your hair 네. part your hair 그렇죠? 그래서 <웃음> 가르마를 이렇게 part라고 할수 있습니다. Oh. <웃음> Are you done fixing your hair? Yes, I'm okay, done. Okay, cool. Let's move on to the first sentence we will be looking at in detail. Okay, so the first sentence we'll look at is but recently I've discovered a sport that I'm really falling in love with which is yoga. But recently, I've discovered a sport that I'm really falling in love with, which is yoga. 그런데 최근에 어떤 운동을 발견했는데 정말 푹 빠지게 된 운동입니다. 그런데 그것이 요가라고 말을 했고요. 여기서 푹 빠지게 된다라고 제가 방금 전에 번역한 것이 바로 fall in love with. That's 그렇죠? right. 네. 원래 fall in love 하면 사랑에 빠지다라는 말이잖아요. <웃음> so you can right. fall in love with somebody, right? Right. But unlike in Korean, you can love other things as well, mm. not just people. Mm-hmm. 그래서 뭐 물론 우리 말로도 요즘 독서에 독서와 사랑에 빠졌다라고 말을 해도 말이 안 되는 것은 아닙니다. Right. But in Korean, you have other expressions that are more natural. Mm. But in English, you can say you you fell in love with anything. Yeah, you fell in love with this ice cream shop. <laughs> I was gonna say yeah, that. You fell in love with EBS 생활 영어. You right. fell in love with 누구 누구 이렇게 말할 수 right. 있겠습니다. 다양하게 갑자기 fall 하듯이 떨어지듯이 좋아지게 된 것이 있으면 mm-hmm. 이렇게 말해 보시면 좋겠고요. 다음 mm-hmm. 문장 보겠습니다. Okay, the next sentence is and right now I'm about to go on a run. And right now I'm about to go on a run. 그리고 지금은 달리기를 하러 가려고 해요라는 말인데요. Mm-hmm. be about to라고 하면 뭐뭐 하려던 참이다 또는 mm-hmm. 뭐뭐 하려고 한다라는 말이죠. Right, it means that you are going to do something soon. That's right. You're getting ready to do something you're about To. That's yeah. right. And do you know what we're about to do now? Right now, we are about to watch the video again. <laughs> That's right. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> And Rika, please talk about the same story <laughs> in the same fashion, but this time 
we will add subtitles both in Korean and English. All right, so make sure you still keep your ears open even though there are subtitles. Listen carefully. Let's watch. I love sports, and generally I go for sports that carry some risk. So something like jumping the trampoline, or snowboarding, or climbing, or even some skateboarding. But recently I've discovered a sport that I'm really falling in love with, which is yoga. I love how it makes me feel, and I also like the lifestyle that goes along with it. So I will do it once a week at university, and I try to do it as often as I can at home too. Part of doing yoga to me is doing handstands, and I absolutely love handstands. I will do them everywhere, outside, inside, anywhere that I'm allowed. And right now, I'm about to go on a run. Oh, she sounds like our Hyunwoo Sim. He always does handstands everywhere and asks you to take pictures of him. Not always, but always. when... The circumstances allow it. Well, anyway, <laughs> it's important to sometimes work out because yes. it's not only for losing weight, it's also for actually increasing your strength. Right, and, you and know. being healthy. Exactly. 자, 그래서 오늘은 운동 이야기를 해봤고요. You have a great figure라고 하는 아주 누구나 들었을 때 기분이 좋아질 수 있는 그런 칭찬의 말까지 배워봤습니다. That's right. And make sure to men, you say you have a nice body or great body. All right. So that's it for... <laughs> today, right? Right, that's it for today. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. 네, 여러분 안녕히 계세요. Goodbye.